Hello children. Children, have you ever wondered how the big rocks and mountains are formed? How you can see everywhere soil around us? Have you ever given a thought for that? So today, let us learn how these rocks, soils are formed and their different types. In our next chapter, that is lesson number 2, Rocks and Minerals. So children, our earth is made up of soil and rocks. You know that. Now, uh, for every study, there is a name given. Okay? So, for the study of rocks, we call, we call this study of rocks as petrology. What do we call? Petrology. And the people who study them, there will be certain group of people who study these rocks. So such people are called as geologists. So this you have to first keep in mind. Now moving on to the different kinds of rocks. So basically these rocks are classified as into three types. That is first one is igneous rocks. We call them as igneous rock. Okay? This is I-G-N-E-O-U-S. Igneous rock. Second one is sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock. Then, next, third one is metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock. So let us first begin with the igneous rock. So igneous rock, most of our earth is uh, the mountains are formed from the igneous rock. So you must have uh, seen in uh, videos or in National Geographic some of the educational channels about the volcano. You must have read, you must have also seen, correct? So what is a volcano? Now inside the earth, there is an earth's crust, the center point of the earth. Okay, so there, there will be lot of heat and molten rocks present. Now, Sometimes what happens is during the volcano, volcanic eruptions, the molten rocks present in the earth crust, it will travel to the surface of the earth in the form of, yes, in the form of lava. And the molten rocks present inside the earth crust, we name them as magma. What do we call that? Magma, when it is present inside the earth's crust in the molten form. And when it pours out, we call that as lava. Call that as lava. Okay, now children, you can see in your textbook also. See how this, there is a volcanic eruption they have shown here. This is the earth's crust and the red one is the molten rocks. That is the magma. So sometimes these magma, they come up to the surface and they pour out. So during that time, lot of the molten uh, lava, the molten rocks, whatever comes out, erupts out. It will, after some time, it will cool down and it will harden. And it is nothing but rocks. After hardening, it will become a solid rock. Earlier it was in the, uh, uh, like, uh, what do you say, the molten form. Okay. So, depending on how the magma, how much time it takes the lava to cool down, we have categorized again the igneous rocks. We find a different variety of rocks. Now there are two types of igneous rocks children actually intrinsic and extrinsic uh, igneous rock. 
So what is intrinsic? Intrinsic means sometimes what happens is inside the earth crust, the magma will cool automatically. Okay, it will take a lot of time, longer duration, but yes, sometimes it will cool there and gets hardened. So such rocks are called as intrinsic uh, igneous rock. Okay, while the magma which will pour out in the form of lava and then later it hardens. Such rock we call as a extrinsic igneous rock. Okay. So this is again divided into intrinsic and extrinsic igneous rock. Under intrinsic that means which are cools and hardens inside the earth crust we have an example called granite. So, they have given the different types of igneous rocks here, okay, in your textbook. Just read them. Granite. Granite is the most common and widely occurring igneous rock on earth's surface. It is acidic, light colored, hard stone. So, it is acidic in nature, okay, and it is light colored with a very hard it's a it's a very hard stone with coarse grain coarse means it will be rough with lot of small small grains present okay composed mainly of minerals like now these rocks children they will have different kinds of minerals so depending on the minerals present in them and the rate at which it the lava or the magma cools depending on that the rocks are again classified. So they contain, granite contains mainly the minerals called quartz, feldspar and mica. So these are the minerals which will be found in the granite. So it will be also found in a different colors from grey to pink which depends on its feldspar content. So, the color of the granite, it is mainly because of the presence of the feldspar, the mineral called feldspar, okay. So, it is formed deep inside the earth's crust, correct, and is usually dug out of the ground in quarries. Now, what is quarries? Uh, you must have known about coal mines. From where do you get the coal? The gold mines, coal mines, all those, the, the, uh, the place is called as the mine. So here, in this case, we call that place as quarries. And the uses of granite, you already know at, in your home, buildings and for some uh, uh, statues and all, we use the granite rock, correct? Now, coming to the next rock that is basalt. It's an extrinsic rock. Now basalt is an igneous rock that is formed when the lava solidifies on the surface of the earth. It is very hard. Okay. Hard like granite. It is black colored stone. While granite is grey to pink. Okay. It is used for making statues or grinding stone. This stone, basalt, is used for making statues or for making grinding stones. The grinding machines you find some stone, right? That is nothing but made up of basalt because of its strong nature. Okay? And it is also used for making asphalt. What is asphalt? Asphalt is nothing but the tar. When uh, you put tar on the road, okay, the tar is nothing but made up of the asphalt, which is used to pave the roads, to make the roads, okay. Then, going on to the next rock, that is pumice. Pumice is a light grey or cream coloured rock. Most of them must have seen this rock and even uh, have, their, have at their home. It's used for, mainly used for scrubbing the dead skin and cells from our body. So how this rock is formed? Again, because it is falling in an extrinsic, 
it is formed because of the solidification of lava on the surface of the earth now when this pumice rock is found uh, formed what happens lot of air lot of air will be trapped inside this rocks that is why these rocks will have lot of pores inside them and they are not uh, strong or hard enough they can easily break okay and uh, the dentist also use this pumice powder the powdered pumice for polishing the teeth as they are not so hard the next rock is obsidian so even this is an extrinsic igneous rock now obsidian rock it looks like glass and has very sharp edges so obsidian looks like glass and it has glassy kind it will have a shine and it has very sharp edges okay and that is the reason it is used for making surgical instrument as uh, for cutting tools surgical blades and cutting tools as it requires lot of sharpness <coughs> obsidian is also considered as semi precious stone what a precious stone you have already learned yes all those gems and stone like diamond rubies emerald sapphire all these are precious stone while semi precious means little less precious okay and this obsidian is dark uh, green to black color it is dark green to black color so this is how the obsidian will look okay now moving on to the next type of rock that is sedimentary rocks now from the name itself you can make out sedimentary rock means which is made from the sediments and sediments are nothing but small uh, pebbles stone mud dust all these thing together we consider as the sediment now how these rocks are formed let us know sedimentary rocks are the bits and pieces of rocks that were eroded or worn away and carried by wind water and ice over large distances so uh, the uh, the pieces and bits of rocks which will be broken down because of the wind or the water or the because of ice all these will be carried away to some place usually sedimentary rocks they will be are uh, found near the sea or where the ocean is fed okay near the water body now these bits and pieces are deposited on the earth surface to form layers so whatever has been eroded the small small rocks small stones and pebbles and they get deposited layer by layer every time and layer by layer when it is deposited there will be exertion of pressure correct and what happens over long period of time thousands of years of time what happens is they will cement with each other they will bind with each other and we get a rock called as sedimentary rock okay they will be having layers 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 these rocks now each layer each layer can be distinguished by differences in color texture and composition so i said layer by layer the sediments will be deposited so each layer it will be different in nature with the respect of color and texture the oldest layer and the lowest bed are deposited first and the youngest layer is at the top so the oldest layer whatever the first layer is formed it will be found at the bottom while the youngest means the new layer which is formed is at the top okay so when these layer are pressed down more as i said they will get cemented because of the pressure and over thousands of years they will form the sedimentary rock now there are again different kinds of sedimentary rock the first one being sandstone
So sandstone is formed because of the uh, compressing and cementing of the sand. Okay, sandstone. From the name only you can make it out. So sandstone will and sand children, what is it mainly contains? It contains a mineral called quartz. So same way even this sandstone has a major mineral called quartz in it. Okay, which gives reddish pink color to the stone and the uses of sandstone is for making the buildings you must have seen the uh, red fort in Delhi right it is made up of sandstone okay and many other buildings in the Delhi, Agra, Rajasthan all that places it is you can see mainly made up of sandstone now Coming to the next stone that is limestone. Now limestone is a different kind of sedimentary rock. As I said sediments are nothing but the mud particles or small stones or pebbles, dirt etc. Right? But here the limestone, the sediments, what the sediments are present is nothing but the shells. The hard shells from the sea, sea animals like oyster, you have oyster shells, right? So these are nothing but they contain calcium in it, a mineral called as calcite. Okay, so this uh, sediments of limestone is nothing but made up of mineral called calcite. When these animals, sea animals, they die. Sea animals in the sense, the oyster which will have the shells. When they die, what happens? The bits and pieces of the shells will be uh, sedimented over each other. I mean layer by layer, then it will form the limestone. Okay. Now the best example for the limestone is your chalk piece. What is it? Chalk piece. And limestone is also used for making cement and bricks so these things you have to remember children about each characteristic of each kind of rock and its uses now moving on to the third rock that is conglomerate conglomerate the conglomerates are formed in fast moving rivers where the water washes away all but the largest rocks. So uh, all these other rocks are formed by these small, small pebbles, small stones and sediments. But this conglomerate is formed because of the uh, presence of big rocks. Okay, when these big rocks, I mean the rocks break, the bigger portion will be deposited layer by layer and we can find the conglomerate. So conglomerates are less stronger than sandstone and since limestone is made up of the calcite and again uh, chalk you know how hard it is yes so you can compare each stone from its uh, composition how uh, which kind of mineral is present and how it is formed now these conglomerates are made up of large sediments like sand gravel pebbles etc the sediment is so large that only the lower most layer hardens and thickens together with dissolved minerals to form the rock. So the sediments being a larger piece, a larger component, only the base layer, the oldest layer will form, will thicken, will get cemented and form this kind of rock. Now this kind of rock is usually orange or grey in colour and it is considered as a ornamental rock. Ornamental rock means where you can uh, keep it for a like a showpiece. Okay. Now the last uh, what we will study under sedimentary rock is shale. Now shale is made up of mud and clay. So here the sediments are changing children. In sandstone the sediment was mainly the uh, sand. 
while in limestone it was calcite correct and here conglomerates it was the bigger sediments bigger rocks while in shale it is mud and clay okay so shale is made up of mud and clay minerals which are piled up or layered in parallel parallel means like this here they will be placed like this parallelly on one above other it is a soft rock and is mainly used for making bricks and tiles so being a mineral of mud and clay it will be a softer rock okay and it is used mainly in the formation of produce production of bricks and tiles now shale is found in various shades of grey but other colors such as black red green and brown are also present so mainly it will be in the shade of grey color but they can also be in the shade of brown black red or green also okay so that was all about the igneous rock and sedimentary rock so you have to remember how the igneous rocks are formed what are intrinsic igneous rock what are extrinsic igneous rocks and what are the different types of rocks again classified based on the time taken for the lava or magma to cool and the uh, type of mineral present in them when sedimentary rocks they are formed because of these sediments which are deposited layer by layer okay and over thousands of years these rocks layer of rocks they will get cemented to each other they will get binded to each other and that's how we get the sedimentary rocks so again depending on the type of sediment present in the rock we classify again into different kinds that is sandstone is made up of sand limestone from the mineral calcite conglomerates are formed by the bigger sediments while shale is formed by the mud and clay the layers will be formed of these things okay children see in your textbook they have clearly shown how the sedimentary rocks are formed so these are nothing but the big mountains okay you can see now small small gravels or stone because of the wind or water it will get deposited the gray color see you can see the differentiate the layers correct different layers the darker gray light gray then the reddish brown then comes the yellow and green correct so this is how the layered stone will be layered rock will be formed okay so please go through this read this and you uh, uh, just keep in mind the different kinds of minerals present in this rocks and let's use this thank you